Brother Victor and his wrestle. Round two. It's the second round and I'm already tired. Many people engaged in a similar battle would have committed suicide. Why can't give it to this problem now? Else I'll never make it in my life. So I track myself to the ring to see if luck would pity me in this strife. Had barely made it there before life tried at me again. A knock on the head and kicking the groin was all it took to send me down with the pain. For the second time around, I lift this down on the ground. Couldn't hear a word from the audience, not even a sound. I'm such a loser. In this wrestle. Round three. It's the third round and I'm not ready to fight. Life dragged me to the ring himself as I was ready to take flight. Please leave me alone. At least I did not ask for this fight. I was here sitting on my own when you decided to come my room my plight. Even though it's not 1930, I'm going through my own great depression. I no longer care about my dreams and I'm giving up on my vision. Life looks at me and laughs at me in mockery. Something me and telling me a loser was what I would forever be. All he did was kick my head. In this wrestle. Round four. I'm sitting here in the middle of the ring. I'm pathetic. I've given up on life. Life has given up on me because I made him sick. His laughter is enough to help him win this last round. I've never in my life witnessed a victory so profound. I remain breathless, soundless, penniless. Life has drained me with his stress. But he made a mistake of mentioning the seeds of my passion. He said as he had messed me up, he would also go after my vision. At this point, I knew it was time to fight back and forever be a pity sample. Because life was about to make me a living cripple. Time for me to stop pitying myself and get ready to batter. Because when your back's against the wall, surviving is all that matters. This problem has refused to kill me, yet it will stop coming at me. As I watch the movie called The Cinderella Man, your problems will stop coming at you till you stop it like a superman. I have to fight back. I have to beat you down. That's the only way I can win, hands down. I know if I'm no longer willing to be pushed, then I can't fight all looking posh and tush. So I know it's time for me to take off my stilettos. Cause in fact, the only thing that matters are the heroes. First I block my hair to all your tongues and rats. Then I focus on you, be watchful and vigilant. But not be fact, not legend, that neither power nor mind will give me the victory. So I get down on my knees and obtain power which to you is not revelatory. You are still laughing and talking, you don't see me equal in for the kill. In the split of a second, with the supernatural wisdom that has nothing to do with skill. I use the old armor on you, you don't even have time to take over. And just like that, it's all over. In this wrestle. I have bled. Yes, I'm tired. I've got scars to show, nothing to be desired. Injuries yet to heal, but a trophy to reveal. So, well, know that just like an apostle, I stayed and fought this battle. And because of that, I wrote you this epistle to tell you that in the end, I was the victor in this wrestle. But I fought this battle I'm a victor in this wrestle